Hello everybody, it's your boy Ryan. Today we are back with another episode of uploading a spooky scary Sunday until Corey extension gets back. Guys, today is my birthday. Hey, your boy just turned 18. Um, so we're going to be watching some sp spooky scary videos on my birthday. So we're going to get straight into the first animation, guys. Thank you all so much for watching my videos and let's get into it. Peace. <laughs> All right, my boys, for the first animation we got for this week, my boys, we have True Craigslist Horror Stories 2 animated, my boys. It's about five minutes long, uploaded by Llama Arts eight years ago, so your boys was ten years old, my boys and girls. Let's go. <sighs> Oh, all right, my bad. This story took place a long time ago, back in 2002, when oh, Craigslist dang. was in its early years. Many sure. wouldn't know, but back in those days, Craigslist was a lot different. It was a lot more so an online garage sale, or uh -huh. just a place where people would list old things that still had some value that they were willing to give away. Okay. I got a basketball okay. hoop, a hockey net, and a spoiler for my car all free in perfect condition in that same year. You'd be lucky if you found something like that these days. Yeah. Anyway, me and my son were dying to buy a hockey net so we could practice in the cul-de-sac we lived in. For the record, this was before I got that free one I mentioned. Wouldn't you know it, oh, wow. on Craigslist okay. there was an ad for a slightly used regulation size hockey goal for only $50. It came with a puck and two slightly used hockey sticks. Hey, I, I, I. I still have a picture of that ad to this day. It seemed like the perfect deal, but he lived about two hours away. Hey, that's that freaking one I kid. called the number he had listed, and he sounded pretty normal on the phone. He had a pretty deep, dark voice, but nothing that would be off-putting. I remember his voice being a bit emotionless. He agreed to meet halfway due to the distance, said he'd put the stuff in the back of his pickup truck. He said he could only come after he got off from work, though, which was much later in the day, way past dark. We agreed to meet at some rest stop off the know, highway. Me and my son, who was 11 at the time, took my wife's minivan, the only car that would be able to fit that huge thing. Dang. That is Within a an hour, we were at the truck stop, which was empty at this hour, but was decently lit by three big light posts. I parked right under one of the lights and waited. Why? I don't know why he would take a pickup son, truck though. pulled in off the highway right on time. He stopped right in front of me. I went over to his window, but then noticed there was nothing in the back of his truck. You Steve? He asked me. Yep, that's me, I said. Alright, my buddy's bringing in the stuff with his truck. The guy pulled up behind my car and put it in park. I suddenly had a bad feeling. Yeah, I told my son there, to get back in the car and lock every door except mine. Two more pairs of headlights came off the highway into the lots. Surely enough, pulling up next to me. Oh my god, there's and two, there's three surprisingly trucks! surprisingly at this point, there was no hockey equipment in either one of them. Yo, get in the my car, My heart bro. was racing. I was worried. Not for me, but for my young son who I for some reason brought with me on now, this trip. Like a, why would you bring your son? A group of large men mixed with heavy set and muscular physiques stepped out of the two pickup trucks behind the first one. They eyed me from head to toe, giving that typical Eisenberg. intimidation stare down. Then this bald guy wearing sunglasses said in a deep voice, Where's the money? I instantly pulled out my wallet and handed it to him, begging him to just let me and my son go. He pulled out like a hundred dollars and was pissed, expecting more. Like I said, he then sent two of his goons or whatever to get my son. At this point I screamed and begged for him not to take him. One of the men broke the glass to the minivan back door and I vividly remember the disturbing, heartbreaking screams of my young son. What happened next was what I can only explain to be a miracle from God answering my prayers. A car was entering the lot from off the highway. All the men stopped and turned to look at it. As it got closer, my heart literally dropped in excitement as I saw it was a what? police car. No way! The light suddenly began to flash as he got close enough to see what was going on. No way! All of the men were back in their trucks within seconds, speeding off down the highway. Well, at least two of them. The truck in the back was caught immediately by the police car, and backup arrived shortly. I explained everything to them, and they got the men that were caught to rat out on the others surprisingly quickly. 
I guess Man. luckily the guys in the back truck weren't very loyal to whoever their leader was, if they even had any type of leader. Believe it or not, I had a police escort all the way home to make me and my son feel safer. I don't want to get into all the legal stuff, but I'll just say that all of those men except for one was caught, and I'm pretty sure that was the driver of the first pickup truck. Needless to say, my Craigslist days weren't over at that point, but I have always been much more protective of my son, and much more cautious of Craigslist meetings since then. I mean, dude, like, I don't even know why Walter White got all mad. I mean, the ad said $50. Why would I bring more than $50 if it's $50? My boy was like, huh. <laughs> Alright, my boys, for the second animation we got for this week is called Statue. Analog Horror. It's about seven minutes long. Uploaded by um, Omoku... Omoku... Amukade Bozo. Amukade Bozo. Um, about a year ago. So let's get into it, my boys. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. History of the Damned. John Wayne Gacy. Gacy. The Clown? John Wayne Gacy was an extroverted comedian construction worker who was interested in politics and even worked as a clown for birthday celebrations. He wasn't a clown. Gazy was arrested in 1978 when a 15-year-old kid, who was last seen with him, went missing. It wasn't the first time relatives of missing boys pointed fingers at Gazy. But it was the first time officials took their concerns seriously. Soon after, authorities were permitted entry to the Gazy residence, where they smelled roughly 30 bodies buried 30 in a bodies? foot crawl space beneath his house. He was found guilty of 33 charges of murder, as well as rape and torture, and was killed by lethal injection in 1994. Dang. Ted, Ted Bundy? Bundy? Ted Bundy relished the attention his killings brought him, and many people in the United States were ready to give him that attention. The Western United States was his hunting zone, with an undetermined number of killings, usually of college-aged women, stacking up from Washington and Oregon all the way to Utah and Colorado. Bundy was captured and convicted of abduction in Colorado, but he escaped Colorado. and moved to Florida, where he killed several times more. Bundy's ultimate arrest and its aftermath captivated the nation, as the alleged killer functioned as his own lawyer throughout what is thought to be the first televised murder trial, encouraged interviews, and boasted of the admirers he had made. Jack. Jack? We call him the Ripper, oh, although Jack the we Ripper? have no idea who was behind one of the oldest and most renowned murder Why streets. does he sound all weird now? In 1888, the murder emerged in London's Whittacapel neighborhood and murdered and mutilated five people, all prostitutes. The killer was thought to be a surgeon, butcher, or someone proficient with a scalpel. According to police, by mailing letters explaining the crimes, the killer insulted the community and the police. Despite the fact that several suspects have been named throughout the years, the killer has Dang. never been identified. The sole form of identification obtained by the police was from a letter labeled, From Hell. Dang. Yo. Jackson Spring. Who the freak is this? Jackson Log number one. I finally got a day off. 
The NPD needed extra help dealing with the ever-growing cases of theft in Nirvana, and since it's Christmas time, more and more people are stealing. Some prick even told State of the Bike if uh, the camera's looking at the bike racks. It's almost a soul bike, so it's just a lost cause. Me and Amanda will probably buy him a new one for Christmas. Anyways, the city of Nirvana has had rain for 16 days straight, which is good since California has been in drought for God knows how long. But totally, today has finally stopped. So I decided to take a walk in the woods behind our house. I decided to take my camera to see if I could get a photo of some of the bakery something. Sadly, I didn't find Bambi. Who's Bambi? But I did find an abandoned house. I had no clue it was there. Wow. I would not go in there. Look at it. I decided to see what was inside, of course. That was a bad idea. Yep, I know. The second I stepped through the door, I got hit with the most foul stench. It was stomach churning. All empty and re empty beer cans, wrappers, and com what? Sick bat. What? Oh no! What was going on there? But then I found the statue. Oh hex! What is that? Asiquetirea I don't understand what it's saying. Oh, we got the VHS now, boy. Let's go. A statue of Jesus Christ is well carved out in the marble details. Whoever made the statue is an amazing sculpture. I give them that. But they are sick. Wait, so what was what was wrong when I walked up to the statue to take a closer look? This is what I found. What is it? Wait, is that his hand or oh no, an arm sticking out of the back of the statue. There were stitches along the underside of the arm. On the back side of the statue there was also a note. It said The one who saw the lightning. I immediately called the police. I just can't get one day off. Well, why would you? You did that to yourself. When the police arrived, they swept the area, and while and my me and my coworker Carter called the fire department. When the fire department arrived, they broke open the statue. Uh oh, there's somebody in there. Wow, oh, we found her. There's a girl inside. Of course, a 17-year-old Sarah Kruzik. She has been missing for 34 days. There was a photo staple to her chest. It was titled. Last seven seconds of Sarah. Bro, I don't want to see that, bro. Come on. Why was she so happy? Well, he probably made her smile, right? I mean, who did this to her? I have so many questions. Yeah, me too, man. But they have to wait. First, I must contact your parents. Yeah. You should probably do that, man. Oh, dang. Dude, that, I hate seeing whenever, like, people my age or even younger die. I just gets me all like oh god let's move on <laughs>
Dang. I forgot you had to freaking shock them. Let's try another controlled shock. Oh, we gotta do another one. Again, it didn't work. What the hell is going on? There we go. It's like, just do it the first time and you won't get shocked, you know? Oh, see? So she did it the first time. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop moving. Oh, wait. no. Wait, wait, wait. Dude. Where did she go? Stop moving. Crap. Okay. I gotta stay down. Is he gonna make it? Ooh. Okay, he made it. Okay, so there should be a button to where I can turn the power back on again. Which would it be? I what the hell? Over there in the dark. Okay, that bear is there. Okay, I gotta be more careful. <laughs> this guy's funny. Oh. Yo, he's gotta hit. He's gotta right, hit there the we thing. Go. No, that's done with. I don't know why they even sent me here to begin with. What is that? Uh, is that freaking Freddy? <laughs> why the fuck did it even attack me? Okay. Breathe. Yo. I gotta get out of here. Did you see its eyes? Get away from me! What is that? That was like, that was like cheesy, but fire at the same time. Like, at the same time, that was like, like that freak, it was like just coming at me like. And then there was those freaking eyes and then Freddy, yo, my boy Freddy, yo, that was like fire, but a little corny, but hey, that, that was still pretty good. All right, guys. Um, fourth animation we got is called "One Night at Your Grandma's." Analog horror remastered, uploaded by I don't know. Now, guys, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know. Um, it was uploaded two months ago. It's about four minutes long. So, I mean, let's just see what this is about. <laughs> Okay, we, I think it's like a video game, chapter one. Your mom drops you off at your grandma's house. Wow, that's a nice house. Okay, mom, love you too. I'll see you tomorrow. Why is there a stop sign on the grass? You're walking up the sidewalk, guys. You can tell that the sidewalk is very long. I suppose this is an exercise for you. Not this song! The last time you see your grandma's October 1986, your grandma lives in a small different I missed it. You finally make it up the sidewalk to your grandma's house. You try your best to remember your grandma's name. You finally remember after a little while, Mary. Jeez, it's so fast. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, this music is tripping me. Oh, you notice a shadow of a person poking through the side of the door. You wait until your grandma answers. Your grandma opens the door. She says, how do you do? How do you do? And how do you do again? Why would she say that much? Your grandma invites you inside for a batch of cookie. Your stomach is hungry, I think it said. It's incredibly funny. Is that my grandma? 
Chapter 2. Your grandma takes you in the living room and it looks old, it doesn't matter. You ask her for the batch of cookies. She gets them, I think. You walk around and you decide to sleep around her house. You find a diary, you decide whether you should read it or not, then you decide to do it, but then you your old grandma can not know about it. Yo, ugh, look at that face! Yo, that might be the thumbnail. <laughs> well, I can't read that. What does that say, guys? You. Oh. Hey, I'll leave. I'll leave. Alright, I'll leave. I'll leave. Who the freak was screaming? See this, yeah, I, I looked like a skull. This is what you're missing your jaw. Grandma? Oh no! Why why do people do that? She comes up the stairs and notes you look at her diary. She didn't notice. Okay, she didn't notice we looked at her diary. Pretty good though. Oh great, is it nighttime? Is it bedtime now? Why does she have a cellar? Chapter 3. The screen is fading. Why? Why would you do this to me? Because you don't deserve to belong on Earth. Go rot in hell. Now hold still. Pistol urged. Grandma! You're telling me, Grandma? Makes me scream like that and kills me. Suck so a grandma come up to me. <laughs> Alright, my boys, the fifth and final animation we got for this week is uploaded by Lofux. Whoa, I did not mean to say it like that. Paranormal Mask Replacement FNAF VHS. Five minutes long, my boys. Let's get into it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. So. Well, looks like this thing is recording now. Wow, it is really dark in here at night. My flashlight isn't the best either, so I yeah. can't see that much. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> Man, these night shifts are really starting to get on my nerves. Yeah. But, as the saying goes, if you snooze, you lose. Yeah. Okay, so the Fazbear Entertainment Sorry. Incorporated hired me to replace the mask of the Chica animatronic. According to the incoming job report, a child probably spilled juice on the mask. Uh, this was reported by an employee from this restaurant. Uh, furthermore, uh, before I forget, the manager Whoa, also asked me to check if all arcade machines are really turned off. <laughs> it's not as if they have extra employees for that. We should actually do that at the end of the shift. This is not really part of my job. Then don't do it, bro. Hmm, okay. It looks pretty good so far. Everything seems to be shut off down here. Alright, so let's head on over to the stage area where the animatronics are located. Here we are. Ugh, wh why are they so skinny? Well, seems like Foxy didn't age that well. <laughs> oh, okay, these are like the head um, on over Five to Nights at Freddy's Junior, animatronic. Five Nights at Junior's or something? That's those animatronics. Ugh, I don't like that. Huh. Well, mask got quite a bit off. That does not look like juice. Jeez, there's a lot of juice. Seems like it was cranberry juice or something. Cranberry, Look at the hand rub real quick to this thing to the service room.
Oh. Sucker, who is that? So, looks like the film strip is a bit scratched. Anyways, in the meantime, I'm gonna position the animatronic onto the pan truck. Let's get into the service room. God, that thing squeals so loudly. I really should get a new one. Also, the animatronic is pretty heavy. <laughs> uh, what did you just okay. oh. One step further. Yeah, Bro, great. why does it look like oh, that? I'm sorry, it. it just those creep me out. Get to the bathroom real quick to wash this it's off. So skinny. Someone there? Who was that? Who would be there, my guy? <laughs> Who would be Probably in the bathroom? Closed to a draft and ventilation system or something. Anyways, let me get the new mask for the chica out of the car real quick. Okay, so I set up the mask and prepared everything for the replacement. Well, uh, it's pretty quiet out there. No wonder at this time of night. Well. Let's take a look at the instructions. Hey there, boys and girls. Holy shit. Are you ready to sing a little song with me and my friends? Are you ready when it starts to play? Jesus, that thing's supposed to be powered down. No, when do they invent a battery inside not, these things? Guy. But but the main power switch at the hip should still be there. Oh. oh, okay. So now no server monitor should be able to move it at all. Let's just finish this all and head straight home. Alright, let's see. Move the mask of the animatronic by pressing the two spring locks on the left and the right of the head. After, you should be able to easily pull out the mask and separate it from the rest of the plastic cover. Alright, step two. Take the new mask piece and push it slowly onto the animatronic's head. You should hear a clicking noise when the springs are locked. After that, the animatronic should be ready to go for the next stage performance. Well, let's try that out. My boy's doing this with the camera in his hand. Alright, so now that we got the mask removed, I wonder why the juice looks that sticky. Bro, because I it didn't looks juice. more like... Hold on. Is that... It, is that blood? Uh, what, what? Who turned the flashlight off? What? Uh... Where, 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 where did I put that damn flashlight? I thought you had it in your head. Oh, oh! Ah! Hey, look! We made a new friend today! Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Bro. That thing moved way too quick, bro. Way too quick. Alright, my boys. I just want to say thank y'all so much for watching. I know this video is probably a little shorter, but um, your boy has to go out for his birthday. But next episode will be longer and better. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all sticking around. Like, subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you want to know every time I post a video, my boys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Love y'all. Peace. I've been watching